Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as you can notice, the midweek analysis video has been released earlier than what you have expected. But however, this is because the market is approaching the take profit levels on most of the signals and therefore uh, I don't want to miss this opportunity to give you the right signal to take. So let's start with the euro usd as we can see the euro usd is going in the right direction i have predicted but however uh, it hasn't actually triggered the sell level which i have mentioned to start shorting on 1.21557 therefore the market actually has uh, began the reversal as you can see the bearish momentum has started right from here and the market right now is moving in approximately i would say about 100 pips from the opening however if we go to the daily chart, this is the trend line that I have drawn earlier. If you remember from the last uh, weekly analysis video, and the market now is very getting very closer to actually touch that support trend line. And now I believe it's going to be ideal to start actually buying the Euro USD once it hits this line here on 1.20040. As I said before, um, this is where the level actually or the market actually is uh, revisiting that broken resistance right here and getting ready to retest it so we actually have to wait for the market to retest that level please don't start buying immediately start wait actually just wait for the market to show any um indicating or sorry uh, to show any symptoms of any uh bullish reversal such as a pin bar or a reversed hammer or a doji or whatever indicates a, a pressure from the buyers then you can actually start buying the pair so therefore uh, let me just now get rid of the old signal since now it's no longer valid and the market has reversed already uh, let's now change it to actually buy right from that level i would say no that's a lot of course uh in that zone this is the, the zone of the uh previous resistance so therefore that's gonna be actually our safe zone as we, as i said as, um, as i said before just like that that's gonna be perfect to fine and of course i'm gonna of course uh, change this from take profit to buy now since we are looking to start buying right here actually the target should be at least the nearest resistance just to secure the profit so therefore if we in case started buying right here uh, we have to consider that we need to keep the trade running until it hit the nearest resistance so of course if the market keeps rising this is exactly where is the nearest resistance so we are looking for approximately um 130 pips of profit so therefore take profit level is going to be 1.21360 hope it will work very well and hopefully also it will bring us lots of profits let me just fix it and make it on the four hour time frame instead of daily candles so that's gonna be perfectly fine now let's take a look at the pound usd uh, pound usd actually we don't need to change anything in it because the pair ha or the trade has been triggered as you can see the pair has been rising or sorry ranging inside this safe zone for almost 40 pips which is t totally fine until finally right now it's going into the profit uh, right now the pound usd is going in 37 pips of profit but however in total it has went uh, to 62 pips of profit which is really fine so therefore uh, i believe the pound usd trade should be uh, the same but however i'm gonna change the take profit level since i don't feel comfortable about the uh, current take profit level and i'm going to change it to be right here so that we are expecting from it about exactly 100 pips of profit so therefore the take profit level has been uh, changed to be at the nearest resistance right here or sorry the nearest key resistance level so we have to change the take profit level to be 1.361 sorry uh, 1.36195 Hopefully, it will gonna uh, give us a lot of profits and hopefully it's gonna remain going in the profit as we are seeing. Now, let's look at the AUDUSD. AUDUSD hasn't been triggered. However, it's going in the direction that I have predicted. But however, I believe we need to change um, the targets because actually we have, I think we have to expect from the pair to continue the rise right now if we draw here a support trend line we can see that the pair actually 
uh, still moving based on that support trend line. So therefore, yes, yes, I believe uh, AUDUSD is going to be good for the buy very soon. As we can see, if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement from that uh, support here to that resistance, we are right now on Fibonacci 61.8. So there is a big chance since this is actually the second attempt of the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, as we can see, we had right here the support number one. And right now the market is on Fibonacci 61.8 to create a support number two. Don't forget that the previous same level or this level previously was, of course, a strong key resistance level. That being said, we have to expect that sooner sooner or later we have to start actually buying the usd cat so therefore i have to change the uh, take profit level and the sell order as well and right now it's going to be changed from sell to the buy exactly right here let me just go to the four hour time frame just to confirm uh, that this is exactly the right level where i want to start uh, buying the AUD usd again and i believe perfect yes perfect we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 25 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. Therefore, um, AUDUST is good for the buy as 0 0.75742. And of course, the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit right here for that previous support level. So we are talking about, let me just make it like that. That's fair enough. Um, 45 pips should be fair enough, I think. So therefore, this is there goes your safe zone, just like that. Perfectly fine. And of course, the take profit level is gonna be at least right here. Fibonacci addressment 38.2. I'm expecting from the pair to continue the fall. After that, it's gonna continue the rise. Most likely, uh, it's gonna hit this resistance trend line. Then, if we have witnessed uh, a bullish breakout from that resistance trend line, it's going to be very good for the currency because that means that the pair actually might continue the rising all the way until it hit the peak of the resistance at 0 0.78200. So, anyway, uh, the target we are actually aiming about 110 pips of profit. Hopefully, we'll make it. So, take profit level is going to be 0 0.76825. Hopefully also it will work very well and hopefully we will end this week with a good profit. USD CAD. Now for the USD CAD, actually we can see that the pair actually uh, has faced right here. Let me just show you. The pair is facing a strong resistance zone. Let me just extend this line like that. So as we can see, we're having a very strong zone, a resistance zone at the level 1.2825500 or sorry, 28550. Uh, even with the pair actually has made several attempts to what seems like a bullish breakout from that resistance zone. However, the market has immediately went below that zone immediately again. And as we can see, regardless of all these attempts to break out from the res resistance zone, the market eventually failed to break out from that level. That's telling us that most likely now the USD CAD is gonna actually continue the fall instead of the rise. So therefore, I actually was expecting from the USD CAD to continue the fall, sorry, to, to, continue, uh, to continue the rise until it hit the resistance trend line. Now it doesn't seem to be happening. So therefore we have to expect, uh, not, not to mention, of course, after seeing all these price actions, all of them indicating actually a bearish reversal. So that being said, uh, let me just get rid of the old signal. It's no longer valid and let's now focus on the short so let's go back to the four hour time frame and let's look at the levels where we can expect actually to start shorting the usd cad um frankly speaking we are having here the strong key resistance level at here and right here as well and we can see the many false breakout right uh, right here happened also on the same level of 1.28279 so therefore i would highly suggest that we can start shorting the usd cad at the level uh, 1.282 i would say 80. that should be actually a good level to start shorting the usd cad and of course if that happens then what, what the f come on uh just okay good just want to align my resistance my resistance line correctly or correct and right now of course the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance trend line just in case so that should be fine so the safe zone is ranging for about 51 pips 
uh, like that. And of course, if we started shorting the pair, we are actually aiming for the pair to continue the fall until it revisits that strong support level on 1.26961, which was previously, of course, a strong key support level. Therefore, we can expect actually about 130 pips of profit from this trade on shorting the USD CAD. So therefore, uh, take profit level should be 1.26961. Hopefully also, it will work very well work very well and bring us lots of profits. USDGPY. USDGPY is moving exactly as I have predicted earlier. As you can see, the pair has continued the rise. And I believe it's going to continue rising all the way until it hits our sell level exactly on that previous resistance. So therefore, um, I believe there is absolutely nothing to be changed about the signal of the USDGPY. It seems to be going very well. And I think hopefully uh, by I think maximum by tomorrow afternoon is going to be triggered and hopefully it's going to be valid signal. Same goes, of course, to the USDCHF. USDCHF, as we can see, my friends, uh, the, the signal has been triggered exactly. But I mean, I really doubt if anyone has took it because, as we can see, um, that the signal was triggered exactly on the opening on Monday. So let me just go to the five minute time frame just to show you. As we can see, look at that. The, 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 tr the signal has been triggered. My goodness. OK. Uh, let's go to the 15 minute time frame. Look at that. The signal has been triggered exactly. Okay, I think you guys have seen it already. <laughs> exactly right here from the opening on Monday. Exactly open from the level where I have mentioned to start buying the pair. So all in all, I think I can take some credit for the signal. So therefore, I would say that uh, this signal has made so far approximately 84 pips of profit. However, what's going to happen next? Remember, guys, what I told you in the last weekly analysis video. When we are having here a resistance trend line like that, and the market actually gonna make the bullish breakout from that resistance uh, resistance trend line, the normal behavior of the market that the market is actually gonna continue the rise all the way until it hit the resistance trend line, uh, the beginning of the resistance trend line right here, and after that it's gonna fall to retest the broken resistance trend line just to retest the level and begin uh, a new support trend line. That being said. The signal for uh, the USDCHF is going to be changed from take profit to be sell. Right now, we are looking to start shorting <coughs> the USDCHF from that level. And of course, the very same level of the buy is going to be changed to the take profit. Because right now, if we started shorting the USDCHF from that level, we are actually aiming to start or sorry to earn the profit right here from that uh, from retesting the broken resistance and the resistance trend line and the level 0 0.88972 is going to be perfect and i think it's going to be valid as a take profit level so therefore hopefully we will make good profit and hopefully it's going to be a valid signal for every everyone now let's take a look at the gold now of course the gold signal has been triggered as we can see the gold has went in a few pips of loss uh, not a few pips of course i think it has went in about 100 pips uh, 113 pips of loss before going in the profit finally and of course guys this is very normal for the gold since you are actually aiming uh 300 or 400 pips of profit so therefore right now the gold signal has been triggered as we can see and currently is going in about 160 pips of profit uh, but eventually it went in 200 pips of profit. So, of course, it's very obvious that right now the direction of the gold is the bearish. However, if in case you have missed taking this signal, then you can actually start shorting the US, sorry, sh uh, shorting the gold again. Uh, let me just show you exactly where we can start shorting the gold again. Uh, just a moment. Just let me just be sure. And let me just be sure. Let me just delete all these lines so they won't confuse me. Sometimes this line can really confuse you. So better you just get rid all of, of all of them. I really prefer naked trading. So uh, let me just uh, make sure where we can start actually shorting the uh, gold again. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go. No, sorry. Uh, this is on the four hour time frame. I'm wondering what's wrong. Yeah, one hour time frame. All right. So on the one hour time frame, 
Yes, exactly. This is 50, Fibonacci 50, as I was uh, suspecting. All right, so we can start actually shorting right here. We can expect from the gold to rise for another 100 pips before it's going to be valid for the short again. So therefore, um, gold can be short again at the level 1853.30. And of course, the target is going to remain the same from the four hour time frame. We are just aiming to keep the trade running until it hit the uh, lower level of the support right here at 1834. And of course, for the safe zone, it's going to be ranging just right here until the peak of the resistance where we actually have started shorting the pair earlier. Just like that. Perfect. So the safe zone is ranging for about 100 pips and the take profit level is going to be uh, 190 pips. Of course, this signal is for those who did not enter the trade earlier and they are just willing to enter another trade. I believe this should be actually a valid uh, signal and hopefully is going to work very well. So the take profit level going to be 1834.44. Now, of course, I need to remind everyone <clears throat> if the signal has fallen all the way directly after posting this video and hit the take profit level uh, then this signal is no longer valid please don't trade the signal again if it hit if it hits the take profit level and then rose all the way up again to re the to the sell level then please do not enter this signal we are only hoping for another pullback and hopefully the pair gonna actually rise a little bit more just to trigger our new sell order and after that, it's going to reach our target. Again, don't uh, sell. Sorry, don't uh, open the sell order if you see. Oh, sorry, don't um, open the signal if you see the pair rising right after hitting the take profit level. There goes your signals for the midweek. And I really hope it's going to be continuing to be one very good week for everyone. And I believe uh, everyone is doing very well. Also, we are doing very well in the premium group so far. I believe the signal is right now running in profit. I will check them later. However, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.